Hello everyone. For my project, I chose the question, what makes you dizzy when you spin? I picked this question because I do gymnastics and I dance ballet and there's a lot of spinning involved. I usually get dizzy, so I wanted to find out why. So for my research, I looked on Google and typed in why you get dizzy when you spin. And I searched on some medical journals and websites and they told me that Dizziness is caused by the movement of a liquid that's in your inner ear called endolymph. And when you spin, the endolymph moves, and when that when it moves, it tells your brain that you're spinning. So for my hypothesis, I said that if you are spinning one way and then you stop spinning that direction, you go the other direction, the opposite effects of spinning will stop your endolymph movement making you not dizzy. So for my experiment, I am going to have people spinning to the left and trying to walk a line and spinning the other way, seeing if it cures their dizziness. So um, a good example of how endolymph moves in your ears is the same way water moves in a glass. So when you start spinning, this is what happens to your endolymph. It moves, and that tells your brain that you're spinning. So, in the case of my experiment, if you're spinning to the right, and then you spin to the left, it stops. So, that's, it works well on a glass, and um, let's see if it works on people. Okay, so for my experiment, I'm going to have some of my gymnastics teammates spin. First time I do it, I have them spin ten times to the right and try to walk on a straight line. The second time that I do it, I have them spin five times to the right, and then spin five times to the left, and then walk the line. If the results are better the second time, then my hypothesis is correct. So let's see if it works. So, Phoebe, what happened when you tried to spin all one way? What happened when you tried to walk the line? Um, I was really dizzy and I couldn't see straight and I couldn't walk the line. What about when you spun and spun the opposite way? How did you feel? Um, I felt stable when I walked the line. I could actually see straight and stuff. So, would you say that spinning the opposite way cures your dizziness? Definitely. <laughs> What happened to you the first time when you spun one direction and you tried to walk on the line? I felt really dizzy and I thought that was going like, all over the place and people control my dizziness. Okay, what about when you spun one way and then went the other way? I felt stable and I could walk. I was capable of walking on the line. So would you say that spinning the other way makes you not dizzy anymore? Yes. Okay. when you <laughs> spun all one way and tried to walk? The first time, it was making me really dizzy and it, was, it felt like it was really fast and I couldn't walk the line straight. Okay, what about when <laughs> What about when you spun the other way and switched directions? Um, it felt a lot better. I felt a lot um, in control. <laughs> and so would you say that doing um, spinning the other way makes you not dizzy anymore? Um, okay.
spin one direction and try I to was walk. totally out of control and I was going like, whoa! <laughs> what about the second time? I was controlled and stayed on the mountain. So do you think that it worked? Yep. Uh, how did you feel after you spun around the first time? I couldn't see where I was going and I was really dizzy. Couldn't walk on the line. What about the second time? I knew exactly where I was after I opened my eyes and I could walk straight on the line. So do you think that it cures your dizziness? Yes, I would do that every time. What happened the first time when you spun around and you were the first time you spun around really fast? What? And could you walk on the line straight? Okay, what about the second time when you spun around one way and then switched? Did you? How'd you feel? <laughs> could you walk on the line? <laughs> so, do you think that spinning one way and then spinning the other way makes you less dizzy? Okay, <laughs> good job. Okay, so in conclusion, we see that majority of the people that I tested thought that my hypothesis was correct, and one of them thought that it wasn't our, she didn't really know, but, so here are my results, and on this side is the number of people I tested, which was six, and five thought it was correct, and one thought that it was incorrect, but um, other than... Uh, testing more people next time if I were to do it again I would definitely test more people because I would get different results and I would also make another improvement by not only testing gymnasts because people who do gymnastics have a pretty good awareness of where their bodies are when they spin so that might also be a different variable is to test people that don't do gymnastics but other than that I think it was a pretty good project and that's it <laughs>